Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we will learn how we can install Logstash in Windows 10. In the last video, I have shown you how you can install Elasticsearch and Kibana. Alright, so for this, you just need to download this uh, Logstash. It's also a zip file actually. And once you uh, download and unzip it, it will uh, look like this. So basically, you need not to change anything in this one. But what you need to do, you just need to create one config file before running the batch file. I mean to say this log stash batch file all right so as you can see over here they are saying just unzip it and create log stash on config file and they have created a sample file also so for example like from where the input will be coming so we are saying your input will be coming from console right now like this for basic example and output means it will push the output to the elastic search all right so as I have already created this config file I'll show you it's gonna uh, look like this yeah this is the basic one exactly same input from where input will be coming uh, so since we are saying it's console and output will be going to the elastic uh, elastic search and the index name so when the data is going you need to give the index name so I'm just giving a same like this log uh, index name all right so this is the first log index name it just like you give whatever name you want to give it all right and what you can do just uh, open a command from from here simply and say log stash space hyphen f it's the same command as they have mentioned over here if you want to see it's like a log stash hyphen f and then config file path and if you want to create a config like a complex one which uh, you can use uh, for other examples as well like uh, like they have many like filter and then the other you no know, criteria are also will come to that point in just a bit all right so first uh, let me give the path of the config file which is over here this is the basic one okay so this is the file it's i have entered and my kibana is running over here as you can see and let me show you the kibana home screen I hope it's uh, empty. You can see there is no index created so far. Let it run. So now you can see the log stress is up and running. All right. So since we are saying in log stress like input, I mean the data will be giving from the uh, this console. All right. So I'll say this is my first log message if i enter so you can see the message is going to the elastic search if i refresh this page you can see this is the same name which i have given in the config file and it has some data all right so now for to access that we need to create an index on that with this the same name and i'm able to create it i will say uh, put a um, like any timestamp is like um, filter by i mean like timestamp so index is created now let's go to discover that's where you will be able to see this is my first message all right so let me I'll show you so i removed everything now this is the screen you will be seeing for the first time and it has all the so all the filters like basic and the yours is like whatever you typed from the console that will be part of your message so you can say let's say message i'll show you how you will get to know that also you just simply expand this one click on single note and you can see this is the property name and this is my first log message go back simply type here say message it's coming over it okay since right now there is one message you click on plus button so it got filter clean thing all right so if i enter let's say here um one two three i hope it should be able i mean you are getting you can see one two three all things are coming all right so now let's uh, this is the basic one now let's say like you want to you know uh, like pass the uh, logs or maybe you see you want to pass the logs from a csv file so the log struck uh, no, no loss what do you call that uh, logs test can read that csv file and you know after reading that it can you know push those logs to the elastic search that also i'll show you so for this what you need to do you have to uh, create a new one a new config file which is gonna look like this so what we are doing here in in this case we are saying input will not come from console it will come from one of the file 
so let's say let me uh, give one file so there are also two example let's say i have downloaded uh, data uh, diabetes uh, data so like it has some data in there so this is the csv file from there it has to read the content starting is always begin and then like that, that and then the filter you have to type like so in csv like it will be having so many columns right so if you want to filter apply a filter on the csv columns you have to write all the columns otherwise everything will be you know given in the message so message will be holding all entire row but if you want it is like entire row should have the columns also right so then in you need to mention all the column names separated by comma and the comma means like so let's say if you never row four values are there then you should have four keys over here the column names i would say and it's the same this is like no no change over here you just simply say where the output should go so you say uh, it should go in this elastic search since the elastic search is installed in my local machine so that is why i'm saying local host column and 9200 that's a default port actually and this is the index name where like these data should go into which index so in last time i was using this like this log index now i'm using the csv log index all right so it will create a new index altogether the moment i uh, you know run the log test with this uh, new config file so i have stopped the old instance and I'll show you the uh, log test. Let's go back here. And I show you can see there is only one index over here right now, which is nothing but old one. Okay, now I'll just say underscore CSV. I hope that's the name. Underscore CSV. Yes, correct. Let's run it. So once this log test is up and running, it should start reading this CSV file, which is nothing but this. Uh, okay, made a mistake, looks like it should fail. Started running. Yeah, it won't do anything because the file name is not matching. Let me make it underscore one. Save stop yes so now diabetes underscore log underscore one yeah it's matching hopefully this time it should you know push the i mean read the csv file and push it to the elastic search able to read uh, all those records so right now we are having close to eight records if i go to kibana let me refresh this yeah it's there 70 kb data let me create an index on that all right so now let's go to the discover and we should be able to see all the records Mm, three uh, let me refresh which is the file we have post let me double check three records what is the entry one two three sorry sorry i didn't change the index over here so i need to change this index and you can see eight records are there which is nothing but this one all right so last is like two one two three five which is nothing but this record okay it didn't pick up the oh it's also there 100 is also there now let me create a new record let's say if i want to copy this one and paste here the new record is like entry is 999 and i'll paste here and just save it now you should see a spike on this one Okay, it's over here now let's go back to the kibana it's eight now if i refresh it should become nine this also new entry also came over here all right so that means like we are pushing the uh like I, let's say there is some application is running which is uh, generating uh you know logs in one csv file and those they are see i mean that csv file is read by the uh, log stash and then internally it's using all the i mean like reading all the data and pushing to Elasticsearch and then we can see all the data in the 
uh, Kibana. So I mean this structure will be like this kind of architecture we will use when their application is so big and generating like uh, millions of millions of records and then we want to do a filtering I mean, if, I mean it depending on the use case actually and we want to uh, you know find so what you can do you can put filter over here let's say I want to say um, like let's say number of there is a like these are it's having these many records let's say I am interested only those who where the value is 100 I'll just simply say so only one record is there if let's say I just recently I just now created one more record now which is nothing but triple nine one so I'll just go and it and if I make it to triple nine sorry that record came let's say I want all the records other than this record I'll simply say add it not so other records you got it so I'm mean, looking like, it's up to you what kind of filter you want to put it over here all right now I'll just show you one more use case over here since uh, right now what we are reading we are reading the logs from this file what if like our uh, you know application is having a setting like it's uh, every day it's used to roll the uh, log file it will create a new log file right so in that case what we can do in this uh, I just need to remove this uh, log file name and simply say start star and before I do this I uh, let me stop this execution so that I can reload the config file of the log stash and I'll show you the current counter is nothing but uh, 9 all right so before I rerun I should save that file right the config file so I'll just go back here and since it's a star I'll just make it uh, I'll just save it and then I'll just go back to this folder where it, this file is there which is nothing but this so you can see there are two files one and two and this uh, second file is having close to two records over here so nine plus two it should push two more all right so let me start this one usually take five in uh, five to ten seconds actually and successfully started and it pushed these two records also you can see yeah one three five is the last record now I'll like go back to the Kibana if I refresh you can see nine plus two is eleven so that means uh, 146 and 135 and two new records came I hope you are getting right so assume let's, let's say if I go back and uh, let me create a new file again let's say I change this file uh, one two I'll make it two and I'll just save this file I would with a new name then only it will pick it up so I'll say simply three and save at the same location and saved it and you should see a spike on that so right now you can see 135 it should be changed to 235 you can see it the new records came here okay and let me go back to the Kibana again it has two records the new file so that means 11 plus 2 is nothing but 13 you can see two new record key all right I think I am able to make you understand like how you can use this um, ELK stack uh, where you your application is generating single CSV or a multiple CSV depending on the application configuration and you want to push all the logs through uh, you know through elastic cell there are many ways to push it you can push directly or you can push it through log stash it depends on that so I'll tell you like so for example if you are using log stash what happens like let's say your elastic search is not running because of some reason if you are directly pushing the logs to the elastic search right what will happen you will lose your logs that is the worst thing so that is why uh, like uh, the yield K stack comes in the picture. So what happened like when your elastic size is not like at least you are having a CSP. That's like you are safer. You are still in a safer side. Your CSP having all the data, and you can just restart this ELK. I mean like uh, elastic search, and then you can push it again. So there is no loss. That is the uh, benefit of using this stack. Anyway, in the in, in the coming videos, I'll be showing you how you can you know send the logs directly from C# -sharp to elastic search and using through the elastic. Uh, what you call that? Uh, this ELK stack also so I'll show you both the scenarios depending on your use case you can use either of one all right that's pretty much about this video thank you very much